Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. What's popping? What's going on in the life of Aquarian between now and the 31st of December? How the hell is we closing out this year? New insights, reflection, honing new spiritual abilities, eyes working different. You ain't crazy yet, goddammit. <laughs> hey, boo, hey. If this is your first time you're on my channel, hey, look out. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time you're on my channel, hey, I cuss, okay? So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube that can better suit you, okay? Um, Don't mean I love you any less. Love you a long time, all right? This is not a personal so general, you need a personal, please hurry up and get that. Go on, get that, because in January, I'm going to take a badass break. In fact, y'all my babies, and y'all like planning, okay? So I think it's this Aquarian that's within my chart in the house that I believe is transiting right now. But because of that, let me tell you how my January is rocking, okay? Y'all think it's a game. <laughs> y'all think it's a game. Even though it's stuff read all up in here, wrote all up in here, because I'm an Aries, okay? But January, baby. This girl is off, okay? All right, I may open up readings on the weekends. I'm not sure, but it'll be a max of three, and I believe I'm only going to be doing emergency readings if I take any in January, probably with a max of maybe like 15, 20, if I feel real good, 30. But to be honest with you, I've never had a break since my channel's been open. We're going to make a year, January 26, 2019. You guys, thank you so much, speaking of that, for allowing me this year to share my love, my light, you know, my wisdom really, really enlighten you guys. I y'all, it means so much to me, y'all. We are truly, truly, truly family. Thank you so much for the support. I couldn't have done it without you, y'all. We growing so fast and I'm truly appreciative. I really would let y'all see me, but my eyelashes, I got one that's half off and then one that's not, you know, I'm gonna show you a little bit a little glimpse. Boop. You know, I'm on my eyes is on flick, not fleek, my the eyelashes, so they throwing up gang signs and whatnot, so I couldn't do that, all right? Plus, I'm also kind of pulling back and reserving my energy because there's been some weird shit happening with people with the magic and shit. And I just, I, I cannot, okay? I don't be with the shits. So that said, during this time, you guys really protect your energy, all right? This will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the beautiful sign of Aquarius. Aquarius. Aquarius, okay? Um... From now the 23rd until the 31st of December, okay? Uh, take the energy as it comes. If it does not resonate, take what does, leave the rest. Uh, to my new subscribers, welcome to the family, baby. We a little dysfunctional. We don't cry. I mean, well, we do go, we go, we do cry. Y'all know most people cry in a hot New York second, okay? But we don't fight, we don't fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss, okay? So with that, you know, we love, we share, we grow, we evolve. Positive shit only, all right? I did, if you cross-watching for the sign of Virgo, I got in, I seen in their comments, it was some shit I'm going to have to uh, boot out. But I don't like the arguments in the comment section because I come with nothing but love and laughter. For those of you who have had personal readings with me, I'm just as transparent on my readings as I am here on, you know, line. I don't give a damn if I had 300,000 subscribers, y'all. I'm still going to be the same on me. Same, the same old, you know, that's my jam by Genuine. Even though I got my own CD, maybe even on TV, you know, my voice is leaving, but you get the idea. The same OG, yeah, same on me, you know. So, with that said, Aquarius, you guys, it's been quite the journey. If you ain't learned nothing else this year, we've learned balance, especially with Aquarius, as well as accepting change and truly learning why things had to happen, as well as why things are going to be expanding the way that they are in 2019, because you fucking deserve it, that's why, alright, to my returning subscribers, family, oh, it's the journey, y'all, we made it, we made it, okay, y'all, I'm excited, I'm really looking forward to what the new year has to offer, I'm very grateful for even every tower moment, every good day, every bad day, you know, I said I'm not gonna cry, we're gonna push through it, but if can't no other sign feel me, you know, Aquarius feel me. I don't know why. I was just totally fine. When I got to you guys' video to start recording, y'all, my chest got heavy. As if I'm feeling like my babies. And y'all know I'm hella empathic. My chest got heavy and I felt like Aquarius like, Mocha, just please don't come with no more bad news. Shit's been all over the place. 
a lot of you all, I'm feeling um, to truly, truly sing you and extend my love during this holiday season. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody celebrating. Um, but I do feel, you know, to send my love. I love you all, you know, to your family members who have crossed over, okay? I just want you to know that they do send their love and regards, um, their love and regards, and they really want you to, you know, open up this year and really, 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 truly live. It's safe where they are. And you could be a one where you are, baby. I love you. We family. We family for a reason. I even bought my native thug out because I knew I was really going to have to speak to the collective, okay? Um, you guys, if you need a personal, again, I'm going to shoot a special out there. So go ahead and start getting that in before the first. But somebody I'm hearing from Aquarius is really going to have to talk to me. And I'm open, baby. Let's get it, okay? So without further ado, because I done ran my damn mouth for five minutes, we're going to hop into Aquarius' message. All right, I do. I did uh, pull two angel messages for you. It was supposed to be one, but these two persistently kept jumping out, you know. And so because of that, I think spirit has something to say. All right. So, all right, we're gonna start with your spirit message: Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Aquarius. Ooh, Aquarius, I see y'all just trying to get shit together. All right. All right. Yeah, some of you all are closing out cycles. During this time, a lot of you all may be reflecting on, you know, the past, how you grew up, traditional values. Some of you all really are kind of in this reflective state and you're kind of seeing your family members as well as repetitive cycles like within your life, okay? I feel that some of you all are really going to be closing out cycles during this time and spirit is truly trying to open your heart space in order for you to do so because a lot of you guys have been very reflective. A lot of you all are really just seeing life with a new pair of eyes and it's allowing you to move forward and, you know, openly close cycles to understand that it's life is a whole, it's a whole damn life. It's a whole damn world out there to conquer. You know, I can't stay stuck in this hermited place. Yeah. A lot of you all. Okay. I feel are going to be in a place of centering yourself. Balancing the yin and the yang. Truly, truly, truly finding what it is to be. What it is as a sovereign being. Okay? To be who it is that you were created to be. Truly at one with yourself in order to move towards your life purpose for a lot of you all. Which is why you got to close those cycles. Letting go hurt, regret, remorse, resentment. And taking in gratitude, optimism. The spirit of healing and abundance and acceptance to understand that you're the grandfathers of the zodiac, baby. So you with the grandfather, with you being the grandfathers, grandfathers didn't live that damn long to be no fool. So with that said, a lot of you guys, and with this being the number eight, I feel that this is faded. It's faded to happen during this time. And I feel like some of you all, yeah. Some of you all are really balancing the yin and the yang, the feminine and the, mas the feminine and the masculine aspects of yourself. And some of you all are truly completing heavy cycles, okay, that, and really, for some of y'all, it's really balancing out. Some of you guys are really born into this life, okay, to actually mend, like I'm hearing mending fences, so to actually be the ending of what you guys may have felt like was a curse or family cycles. Some of you all may um, be being reflective, looking in the mirror this time, like, I don't want to be alone, you know. You're looking at this this reflective time period, this healing period is, I don't want to be alone. Some of you all, um, spirit is trying to move you forward towards your twin flame during this time. But you had to be at one with yourself, balancing your emotions as well as your intellect, your mental space. A lot of you all are evolving spiritually. Again, the mind's going to be working different, Aquarius. Hmm. Some of you all, yeah, some of you all are breaking free. Of that pain, that hurt, those things that you were holding on, those traditional ties that you were holding on to from childhood. Some of you guys are literally breaking free of that confinement and truly going to go and truly live your damn dreams. Some of y'all have a connection to unicorns. Some of you are during this time, there is some type of signification of a, of a white horse. 
that being liberation, freedom, completion of cycles, the ending of the programming of pretty much, you know, I love that song by Janelle Monet and Erica, uh, Erica Badu when she say, or oh, must I reprogram, deprogram, and get down? Aquarius can truly feel that right now. I mean, a lot of you guys are really, really, really closing cycles. And a lot of you all are really on the brink of abundance, y'all, in a massive way with all these damn tens, eight completions, eights being infinites, okay? Sevens being signifying wealth and abundance, spiritual abundance. Abundance can come in many forms for you all. Yeah. Some of you all, oh, I have to show y'all these. These cards are beautiful. Shout out to my Aquarius, baby mama. You know who you are. You ain't extra. You don't like them shout outs and shit, but thank you so much for blessing me with these Oracle cards, the Oracle Vision by Cyril Marchetti. These are some beautiful, this is such a beautiful deck and such an enlightening deck. Um, as y'all can see, you're like, Mocha reading Oracles. Yes, 2019 is going to be a year of expansion, brilliance. For you all, a year of harmony. Being at one within yourself without feeling like you need another to validate you or complete you. For some of you all, I feel like you've been wasting time and you come to the realization that I got my whole damn life ahead of me. Here I am sitting on a bird to bring me a message. Some of you guys are going to receive some type of message. And I feel like it's more so a message from the divine around that full moon period. Y'all comment below because some of y'all dreams was very interesting. And some of you all, spirit is coming to bring you a message of spiritual expansion for some of you all. And finding that harmony within yourself, within honing that ability. Because for some of you all, as the old people used to call it, you seers. Some of you all are uh, maybe doing um, moon rituals, casting out love messages, love spells, waiting on someone to return. And you are going to get that, that text message, that phone call. For some of you all, someone's going to send you some roses. You may be sending someone some roses to Aquarius. All right. Yeah. During this time, a lot of you are, again, completing the cycle. Completing. Completing the cycle in the way that you see yourself. The way that you see yourself as well as the way that you see others. And the way that you see the imperfections within yourself. Baby, you're beautiful. You have no reason to feel insecure. Based on someone else, someone else not being able to see your pure imperfections. A lot of you guys are going to be moving forward for you, not that of another person. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. For some of you all, this is definitely white birds. Again, white horses, white birds. Some of you all are truly ready to live. Spread your wings and fly. Hmm. Some of you guys are going through a very, you've been through this healing period. And Spirit wants you to know that you are protected as you continue to move forward within your journey. But some of you all are truly, 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 literally taking flight like that of the Phoenix. You're coming and won't, you're coming, you're coming to be one within the soul self during this time. A lot of you all are breaking free of your fears. Breaking free of those confinements that you put yourself in and those mental prisons telling yourself that I hope, maybe, well, I hope so, let's hope so, let's know so, I am, I am wealthy, I am healthy, I am living my best life. For some of you all, your artists, your writers, some of you all, your life purpose is really going to take you far, you need to know that you're protected, use this time to prep and prepare and take this damn mask off and allow yourself to feel, Aquarius. You can no longer go forward with balancing yourself. Balancing yourself, trying to over, overdo it, I feel. You know, I feel like this lady is depicted here. And I feel like she's a beautiful woman. But she feels the need to have all of this material shit on the outside. I feel as if that, th this material things. You know, those material things are going to get her the recognition that she needs or those shiny things are the things that are presented to others when ultimately if she just simply take off this mask and stop seeing herself as an imperfection or just understand that she is enough. 
and find that balance within herself with trusting her spiritual protectors on her side guiding her to know that she can move forward in whatever way she'd like and whoever the fuck don't agree and whoever the fuck can't see the beauty within her, her true authentic, authentic self don't deserve to go. Everybody can't eat at your table, Aquarius. All right? So let's get it. In love. I'm sorry, y'all, if I'm not really loud. I apologize. My throat is on fire. It's really why I'm trying to get everybody to get those out. <laughs> why I got it in me? <laughs> yes. And I've been trying to get rest in between. It's way better than what it was last week. All right. So, Spirit, what messages do you have? Ooh. For my Aquarius in love between now and the 31st that jumped out quickly. A lot of you all are really a lot of you all are really, really, really focused on possibly reconciling with someone. Okay, this could be a fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius. There's a coming together, possibly with someone who made you, or there's a one. Yeah, there's this desire to come together, victoriously move forward with someone who possibly made you feel left out in the cold or made you feel some form of rejection, okay? Or made you feel as if you needed to be accepted, you know, by them. I feel like either you or this other person during this time is going to be defensive toward the connection. This could definitely involve a fire sign, someone possibly who you had children with. Okay, I feel like with this Ace of Pentacles, some of you all, there's a need to focus on your stability. Some of you all really, really wanted to progress in a situation with love. However, Aquarius, even though you're evolving, okay, there's something that's not getting off the ground here. There's a new beginning that's not being blessed by the divine because I feel like it's a karmic partnership, all right? I could be wrong, but I'm going to keep going because the energy that I'm feeling is very karmic. And I'm literally hearing toxic, so I know I ain't too far off. But some of you all, there's a coming together trying to occur with the water sign who could be very passionate about you. But some of you all are really feeling left out or you're really feeling like you're lacking something. And this could have to do with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel like during this time, some of you guys are going to be very defensive to people. Some of you guys are very defensive in a marriage, okay? And some of you all are being defensive towards um, a karmic relationship. I feel, again, there is something not getting off the ground. Some of you all are possibly um, kind of really, really, really reflecting on what it is that you truly want to do going forward for those of you who are coupled or married. Because I feel like someone is not, there's like a lack of passion or someone is not feeling attractive someone is feeling insecure during this time and i feel like it has to do with someone half-ass given to a relationship maybe in the past okay but i feel like going forward aquarius you don't need to settle for a half-ass offer baby you can create what you want you're coming through as the empress some of you guys are going to move away from this defensive energy and come out of this shell and find your passion again to accept this offer i feel like it's slow moving but i feel the, the wanting to move slow is more so on your end Aquarius until you get yourself financially stable or you feel financially comfortable to move forward and accept in love but some of you all there's a um some of you all have been trying to open up a business that energy is very blessed during this time I feel that something about the number three within three months three weeks you're going to be able to see things actually flourish I feel like it's going to be slow movement but you definitely will get to where you're trying to go with this ace of pentacles here for some of you all, you could definitely be um, receiving an offer during this time of love, okay? As well as financial help from a Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Virgo. I feel like someone really wants to help you succeed, Aquarius. Someone wants to marry you, Aquarius. But I feel like for some of you all, you're having a hard time releasing the cycle with possibly an Aries, okay? Possibly a Sagittarius. For some of you all, um, a Cancer. Some of you all, it is a Leo or a Scorpio. Another Aquarius like yourself. Yeah, but I feel like for, if some of y'all during this time going to be finding out y'all pregnant by a Leo or possibly that damn Pisces, Libra, 
<laughs> Taurus, Virgo, Aries. I feel like some of you guys are really, really, really kind of in your head about moving forward, all right? Some of y'all are really going to be hearing a message possibly from a cardinal sign or sending a message of love or some type of expression. Some of y'all are going to receive an apology from someone who you wanted to move forward with in, in the past. And I feel like for some of you all, this is going to bring that passion back because this could be someone who really made you feel insecure or made you feel like you were lacking something or that you weren't enough. And this could be an Aries, Libra, Capricorn, Cancer. So some of you all, yeah, some of y'all, there is a, a passionate relationship, a passionate partnership. Y'all really walking into good karma, to be honest with you, and you deserve it. Some of you all intuitively, there's something that you know that could be happening involving a child, okay? Some of y'all could be having dreams about your children during this time. I'm literally healing. Look, uh, look to your children. Some of you all, you're really needing to hear your children's dreams out because they can give you some clarity on which way to go next. Some of you are also honing a new ability this month, okay, or at the, toward the end of the month, going into the new year. There's a need for you guys to truly find time for self-care as well as peace. Some of y'all Aquarius just need a break. I feel that you just really want time by yourself to reflect during this time, and some of y'all are going to get it, okay? For some of you all, yeah, some of you all, I feel like a marriage has been one-sided in the past, a marriage or some type of divine partnership. Some of you all are going to be moving forward as far as court documents. You could have been married to someone. I feel like someone was defensive toward the idea of continuing the marriage and someone wants to work on it during this time. They want to recreate, start over, Aquarius. <laughs> Aquarius, please go after that damn business event or that business venture. For some of you all, it has to do with your life purpose. Yeah, you know, some of you guys are trying to have Courage during this time, because I feel like a lot of y'all are feeling alone because you're having a hard time closing the cycle, letting go someone, possibly someone who you have a children, who you have a child with, who you have a children with. Oh y'all! But change is coming to you, baby, and it's inevitable, and it's a positive change, especially financially, as well as for some of you all in love. Okay, some of you all definitely have a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Or someone within this energy, I feel like this is someone who could be younger than you. This person feels like they want to be your knight in shining armor, but I feel like some of you guys are very, very, like, <laughs> closed off to the idea because I feel like you really, really, really want to keep your options open. Maybe this Taurus Virgo Capricorn is moving slow because they want to keep their optional or keep their options open. So maybe you're trying to have the strength to move forward within a relationship. Maybe you're feeling in this other person's mutually feeling that it's time to really go in this period of solitude. Some of you all, there's change coming. You have another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that wants to come in and make an offer to you. I feel that you feel that this person has a lot of options, even though I feel that this person has a lot of love for you. But some of you all, some of y'all going to take that offer from their cancer and that, or that Pisces, Scorpio, because this person is definitely a soulmate to you, baby. But some of y'all are not ending the cycle with a karmic soulmate in order to get what it is that you truly want. Baby, don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. Because with this damn devil being here and the devil being, look, with this damn devil, I'm sorry, this damn devil being here at the root, baby, I feel that some of you all feel you're, you're, you're mentally attached to something or a particular subject or a particular someone that spirit has not given you the okay on it's not good for you baby it's a karmic partner you gotta let it go so that you can let this happiness in all right so let's clarify these majors okay for my babies spirit why is the high priestess here for some of you all there is um some of y'all could could have found out about a child um, or could have been having dreams about a child, especially if you're involved with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel like this person um, could have made you feel rejected. It could have cut you off. But I feel like it, they had to go close up a karmic cycle or close up a karmic door. Some of y'all dealing with somebody very intuitive. 
Why is the high priestess here, spirit? Hmm. Yeah, some of you are intuitively know that you really need to focus on your stability, focus on your finances. Some of you all who want to move, I do see movement, okay? But it's going to be, you have to give something up in order to get what you want, period. All right? But I do see, intuitively, some of you all also felt like, or some of you all are really not sure about opening up your own business. I feel like it has to do with the confidence issue. But you got to speak those positive affirmations in yourself daily. Y'all got to learn how to be your own best friend, okay? Be your, be your, be your main damn star player. Mocha supports you. Should y'all support me? Let me know what you're doing. How can I help? Okay. Spirit, please clarify the justice card. Two of them. Yeah. Some of you all, there's justice. Okay. And moving away from someone where there was third party energy. Some of y'all gonna have to drop a karmic partner in order to get your two of cups in order to actually have your soulmate who want the traditional marriage and family and stability that you want okay you got to give some in order to give something why is the empress here hmm. okay for some of you all i feel that some y'all have someone capricorn towards virgo okay this don't necessarily have to be the sign some y'all are dealing with someone that could be a bit younger than you but they mirror you and i feel like this person was sent to your life to help this could also be a cancer pisces scorpio and i swear you manifested this all right but i feel that some y'all are defensive toward the idea yeah Aquarius, you can get everything that you that your heart is desiring that you be that you've been manifesting if you choose to move away from something and for some of you, it's a bit hard pulling away because you have been, for some of y'all, it's been eight months, eight years. Well, I feel like whatever it was that you were trying to manifest eight months ago, eight years ago, eight weeks ago, or within eight, eight weeks, I'm literally hearing, or eight months, what it is that you're trying to manifest, you're truly going to see it. Truly, within the next eight months, meaning from now, within that time moving forward, you're going to see something progress. And I feel like it has to do with you truly, truly trusting in the process. For some of y'all, you're not ending the cycle with someone who has a lot of options. Why well, is the strength part here? Yeah. There's strength needed, okay, in reconciling possibly with the Leo person or with just moving forward, okay, in a relationship and trusting the process. Damn it, y'all are not trusting shit. Aquarius is like, I'm not going to be vulnerable. Some of y'all are deciding to move away from a Virgo. And I think it has to do, some. somebody drink too damn much. There's definitely overindulgence during this time. And some of you all are coming to the acknowledgement of that. And you're just in harmony with just walking away and protecting your energy. I don't damn blame you. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here for my baby? What is this Ace of Pentacles spirit? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Yeah, for some of you all, I feel like some of y'all are really needing to learn the lesson of self-worth when it comes to reuniting with someone who you, just because you have children with the person does not mean that you are supposed to be tied with them, okay? I feel that some of y'all are going to be feeling possibly, um, possibly rejected during this time. You may find out that someone could be who you have a family with could be reuniting possibly with the water sign who could have possibly left them out in the cold or they could have left you out in the cold with before. And this is a catalyst situation in order to move you forward, okay? To move you forward, Aquarius. Change is good in this case. Why is the devil here? Yeah. Movement forward from a toxic situation that could include a Capricorn. For some of you all, an Aries, Leo, Sag is definitely a soulmate. Someone who you have chemistry as well as for some of y'all kids with. But I feel like God got something better for you. They may come in the form of a water sign, air, hell, all the damn signs here. But you're going, you trying to love on, you trying to love on the damn night, and spirit trying to give you a king. What you want to do, Aquarius? Because I tell you what, if you choose to move forward. Focus on your finances, focus on your stability and what it is that you're trying to build and movement forward, momentum. Because, see, you can't get your, you can't see your blessing going forward if your ass steady looking in the past, babe. We got to do better. 
And it's you start it's starting with you trusting yourself, trusting the change that is literally happening that you can't control. And it's just being accepting of it. Because for some of y'all, within three to eight months from now, some of y'all have marriage in your future. And I feel like you waited for years for this from someone. You're going to get what you want. You may not always get it in the way that you expect it to, but you're definitely going to get it because you deserve it. All right? So that's what I have in love. Let's see what the angels have to say to Aquarius. All right? Sensitivity. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. Trust what you feel. This comes from Archangel Haniel. This purity, all this white in your reading. White birds, white horses, white angelic figures. There's a sense to purify. All right? Rebirth. Your next message comes from Archangel Chamuel. Beloved one, I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Hello. Thank you, spirit. So understand, Aquarius, something beautiful is trying to happen. Love is inevitable. In 2019, it's going to expand your life financially within love. For some of you through a family situation with with children, and I'm hearing infertile, I feel like some of you guys were trying to have a baby by a karmic partner, and you could have broken up because you could have found out that that karmic partner had either um, a baby on the way with someone else, or possibly a lot of options, or maybe a child that they weren't taking care of in the past, and they could be in their own damn karma. But moving forward, now you and your next partner, that spirit is blessing you, will, you will be able to have that child. Because I'm literally hearing miracles. Believe in miracles. Trust the process. You dodged the bullet. Accept that. Y'all need a personal hit me up, baby. This is what I have for you guys. I love you so much. Merry Christmas, y'all. Happy New Year. And we bring in the new year with new shit only. You understand me? I love y'all. Much love, much light. Much healing and acceptance, Aquarius. Namaste, babies.